Hello again, it's Ashley with Prime Bees, and today we're going to talk about the honeybee life cycle. The development for each cast of bee is a little bit different. The queen bee takes 16 days from egg until she emerges from her cell as an adult. The worker bee takes 21 days, and the drone takes 24 days. In this video from a TED Talk, we watch an egg hatch into a larva that's swimming around in a pool of royal jelly at the bottom of the cell that they're living in. Then they enter their pupal phase, and at this point, they begin really developing their exoskeleton and the rest of the organs that they'll use as an adult honeybee. This entire process from egg to emergence, as we mentioned, is 21 days, and both the drone and queen go through this similar metamorphosis, the difference being just the length of time that they spend inside that capped cell. Since bees are essentially born, or really just emerging, out of their cell as adults, they immediately have to get to work. One of the most fascinating things about bees is this idea of temporal polyethism. This means that the worker bee will do a different job at different ages within her life. And even more fascinatingly, she's physiologically changing throughout her life to better perform these jobs. The first 21 days after emergence, she'll spend the majority of her time inside the beehive, doing things like cleaning, nursing young bees, and producing wax to build the comb. During the latter part of her life, or after 21 days after emergence, she'll begin to forage for nectar, pollen, propolis, and water to bring back to the hive, and she'll continue to do this until she dies. Taking a closer look at the queen's life cycle, the single thing that makes the queen so unique from the other female bees within the hive, the workers, is the fact that she was fed royal jelly throughout her entire development, instead of just in that first few days as a larva. What this means is that any larva at the age of one to three days can essentially be turned into a queen by being fed that same royal jelly throughout the rest of its development. So in order to make a queen bee, the queen will either lay an egg inside a queen cell or a worker bee may move one of those younger eggs into a queen cell, especially in emergency situations. Once a new queen emerges from her cell, within about four days after that emergence, she'll be ready to go on a mating flight. If all goes well, she'll be mated on that first flight and then she'll return where she'll continue to harden and to mix up the sperm that she stored in her spermatheca for about a couple of days before she begins to actually lay. If you're watching your hive for a newly mated queen to begin laying, it's important to realize that she could lay as early as eight days or as late as 19 or 20 days after she's emerged from her cell. This can depend on a number of factors, including whether she was able to be mated on the first flight or whether throughout the time period that she should have been mating and or developing. Since the drone's entire purpose in life is to mate, they have a fairly simple life otherwise. They're cared for by the worker bees, and when winter comes around and there's a need for food conservation, the worker bees will actually kick out that season's drones and just wait until the following spring to begin rearing more drones, which is always a little bit sad to see. And that's it for our honey bee life cycle overview. Hopefully you learned something today about the workers, queen or drones. And until next time, thanks for watching.